Zed, the, the neuralizers, have, have they shipped? I, I can't well, wait to get them. Are, an affirmative action do you know program. where they are? Are they? I'll keep you posted. Can it? You're, you're breaking up. What? There you go. I'll call you back. Can it? What? Welcome back to the MCU. I'm Marius and this is my cinematic universe. And today we're back in the 90s with uh, Men in Black, which was a really awesome movie when it came out. And I recently just rewatched it and it holds up really well. So if you haven't seen it in a while, you should check it out. I mean, any like everything holds up. The, the music, the costumes, the special effects, the story. It's just, uh, it's still a really good movie. Of course, it had some awesome props among them the Neuralizer and Factory Entertainment have reissued these. They did a round of these some years ago and I missed the boat on that, but they're out again now and they're limited to 1997, which is the year the Men in Black came out. So go get yours right now if you want them. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. I got one of each. I got the original one and the Men in Black 2. You might not get both or maybe you will, I don't know. They're $5.99 each. And uh, they look really well made. So I think the price uh, is pretty good. I mean, it's expensive for toys. Toys you can't even, you shouldn't even play with, just display toys, but that's the business we're in. So let's get into it. Gotta start with this one because uh, this is the one I'm excited about. All right, got a little instruction booklet. Nice thick card stock, opening and closing. There's a lot of uh, don'ts, so I don't want to read this before I use it. So hopefully nothing bad will happen. So this one, it says um, Certificate of Authenticity, and it says limited to 1,997 pieces, but it doesn't say which one this is. So maybe there's another piece that says how many it is. It did say on the outside box, but I don't know if that's the number, edition number. Oh, there's a box inside the box. Very nice. Did not expect this. Nice case here. Ooh. Wah. Okay, and then here we go. This is uh, number 349. So you get a little plaque. I do wish it had some kind of stand with it. Doesn't seem to have that. That would have been nice and uh, a way to display this little piece, but I guess it just goes in the box. Interesting. Ooh. This has weight to it oh and it pops up like that nice let's let's look at the manual let's see what we're supposed to do here okay so let me just twist to open it's got one of these weird little batteries fatty feels like there's am i supposed to take this plastic off I'm taking it off oh okay and then it's a little flimsy, but I don't know what they could have done with that better sled maybe, but it's not something you're gonna be running around with anyway, so maybe it's fine. Trigger mechanism is here. And then you just press this button. And then I can go and say, I don't think you watched this video from the beginning, so you should skip back and start watching this video all over again. So let's take a look at this. Um, it, it is a nice metal piece. It's all nice and chrome. When you hold it in your hand, just compact it like this, it feels pretty good. It still rattles a little bit on the inside here, but that's okay. It springs up nicely. It's very sensitive. Uh, it just like, boom, shoots up very quickly. In here, you have the date, which you can select which year you want it to be. You want it back, maybe back to 1997. You can also, it's like hours, hours and weeks. I don't know what, how oh, minutes. So it does say up here, it says minutes, but I mean, it's impossible to read it. I don't know if I got a faulty one, uh, but the light does not shine through here. Let's, uh, let's quiet this down for a little bit. Uh, I, I can't see the minutes up here because uh, the light doesn't shine through. I can, when I, hold it down I can see that uh, there are numbers here on the weeks and everything but they're not visible I don't know you can change them but I mean you can't see what they say so that's odd it says that the settings wheels can be changed with your thumb and I guess you can uh, 
it's very hard to turn them and I can't see what I turned them to. So yeah, that's interesting. It's there. There is some functionality there. And the light is red before you uh, do anything. When it's charged up, you can fire the LED. I do wish that it had actual flash instead of just an LED, just like a little Xenon flash unit. And I know that it's possible because my old Nokia phone from like 15 years ago had a real Xenon flash, uh, Xenon, Xenon flash here, not on, it had on the phone. That was the LED, it was before, that was before LEDs were good for uh, flash photography on cell phones. So it has to, had a real Xenon flash. So it could have been installed on this one and I wish they kind of had. Um, because that would have been so much cooler, but it's still awesome. A little loosey-goosey, uh, and I can't see the dials, but I still love it. Let's take a look at the number two and see what that kind of looks like. This might be different. So this one is number, uh, number six. Ooh. I don't know if it matters which number you have, but if it does, this is a pretty low number. Same deal again. They basically look exactly the same. So this one, oh. This one started making noise by itself. And it doesn't want to stop. Okay, there we go. Basically the same thing. It's just that this one is uh, blue and it has a different way of setting the dates. And I wonder why they changed that. <laughs> because this is definitely not a better method uh, and and on this one it's not functional so I feel like in the movie maybe they just changed it just to change it this one feels less wobbly than this one it's a little tighter and same thing and I'm having the same issue on this one as I have with the other one is that I, I can't see uh, the month, the year, and the hours, and minutes, and everything. It, it just, I can see that there are writings here, and it says November, December, all the stuff. And then this one is A, I don't know what this one does say, A, T, H, N, and then this is hours. But it's impossible to see. So I'm not sure if that was, um, if this is meant to be seen or not, but I cannot see. The, the flash is bright, but it's not super bright so again I'll, I'll i think what would have been really cool would have been a real xenon flash unit in here so that it really just blinded you but maybe it's not possible with the small battery maybe you'd have to have a bigger lithium battery pack or something uh maybe more cost i don't know if there's two things i could change on these ones it would be being able to see what the dials say three things Three things, being able to see the dials, little less wobbliness and uh, brighter flash with a, a Xenon flash unit. But it's still a very awesome piece and it comes with this nice case. Although I would have preferred a stand. The case is nice. It's got four little holes here. I don't know what that's about. Is there something underneath? On the underneath, uh, it looks like it's uh, some other prop. So same case as something else, some kind of dagger, um, which is fine. It's cool. We can do that. There you have it. Men in Black Neuralizer. Summary. Should you get it? Maybe. If you're Men in Black fan, yes. Uh, if you're picking up one of them, I would pick up the original one uh, versus uh, this one because it well because of the date change really that's the big thing uh, also I think Men in Black 1 is better than Men in Black 2 but they're both pretty similar and if you want a whole collection of Men in Black things I guess get them all collect them all um, $5.99 limited to uh, 1997 uh, pieces so go out and get it and if you think it's expensive you can just like flash yourself after and then uh, pretend like it costs less maybe it's worth a shot.